What's up guys, today is going to be a tutorial on this Smooth Skin effect plugin and how to use it. So once you've installed it into your Motion Templates effects folder, you'll find it over here in your Final Cut Pro effects tab. I'm just going to drag that onto my video clip and initially this effect will turn your whole video clip quite soft. So the first step is to add a color mask. So up here we have the Smooth Skin effect and all the parameters that come with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and select the add color mask. And then what I'm going to do is use the dropper to select the skin tones. So when you're selecting the skin tones, you want to select the bright parts of the skin first. I'm just going to click and hold, then you'll see the parts that are selected start to appear in color. So once you've selected the skin tones, then you click up here on view masks. You want the face and the skin to appear in white and the rest of the video clip to appear in black. And depending on your shot and the colors, you won't always get a perfect color mask like this. This is actually a really good color mask. We can turn down the color mask softness even more. A few other tips for creating this color mask. If you hold down shift after you've clicked on the skin tones, then you can actually see the plus sign on the dropper appear and you can actually add other colors to the color mask. So you can just go through and click various different places on the image to add in and then you can also hold alt which will bring up the little minus sign and then you can actually get rid of colors that you don't want in the mask and the mask is going to be the bits that are affected by the smooth skin effect so you don't want like the background or other parts of the body just the skin in this mask and it's a really key part to getting a good smooth skin effect and then if we zoom in to the face and turn this effect on and off, you can see how it's automatically given it a really nice smooth effect whilst keeping the hair and glasses and everything else nice and sharp. So then let's just go through the parameters. You have the smooth amount, which will change the amount of skin smoothing, and then the smooth strength, which is just a more fine tuning uh, slider which you can use to change the smoothness of the skin. The sharpen intensity will bring back a bit more detail that you've lost through the smoothing. And then sharpen amount is more of the same. It brings back a bit more highlights in the face and a bit more detail. Then you have the skin saturation. So we can turn this up to add some more saturation or just bring it down if your saturation is already too high. The next one is skin tint intensity and also the skin tint color right here. So if I turn this up, you can see if I turn it all the way up, which is not a good idea, uh, you can see it changes the tint of the skin, so the skin tones. And then if you click on this color patch, you can actually change this to any color on the color wheel to perfect the skin tones. And then also the color mask. I normally keep the softness of the color mask between zero and 15, but if you're struggling to get a nice mask, then turning it up is gonna help just smooth everything out. So it's a very useful plugin for when you're shooting fashion, models, weddings, just when you need to make the subject look even better than it already is. Uh, just makes the shots look way more aesthetic. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.